Well, 112 at least are dead in uh, Israel or in Gaza as uh, Israeli troops just opened fire on desperate people trying to get food from food trucks that were coming in. You know, I've been very reluctant up until this point to call what's going on in Gaza a, a genocide, an intentional slaughter of an entire group of people. But I'm not sure that uh, you can't call what is happening right now a genocide. There are now children, they, there, eight children starved to death yesterday that we know of. They're literally starving to death. How can you call that anything other than a genocide? I'm, I'm you know, I got into a big debate with, this, with Nate about this uh, a couple of days ago. I was like, you know, it's, it's, not a, it's not a genocide. Well, now it is. It's getting there anyway. France's foreign ministry said that the fire by Israeli soldiers against civilians trying to access food is unjustifiable. Macron, uh, the French president, called for an immediate ceasefire. He said, um, deep indignation at the images coming from Gaza where civilians have been targeted by Israeli soldiers. I express my strongest condemnation of these shootings and call for truth, justice, and respect for international law. He posted, Macron posted that on Twitter or on X. Turkey said, another crime against humanity. Uh, condemning Gazans to famine as civilians scavenge for dwindling supplies of food. We understand people are eating trees, tree leaves. They're eating animal food. In fact, the animal food is all pretty much gone. Colombia's president, Gustavo Petro, said he's no longer going to purchase weapons from Israel. He, he, he called this a genocide. More than 30,000 people have died now in Gaza. 70,000 have been injured. And we have no idea how many are still dead underneath collapsed buildings. Nearly one in 20 of the pre-war population of Gaza are now dead. Casualties of the attack. It's, it's just mind-boggling. Nutrition, killing children, there's a severe shortage of medical supplies.